Hey everybody, welcome back to Jimmy's Promo. And today we're gonna to take a look at a massive update for the Galaxy Tab S8 series. Now I mean massive for two reasons. One of the reasons is because of the size. This one is over 1,566 megabytes. It's giving you that May 1st security patch. The version ends in BWD8. Now we already received the Samsung One UI 5.1 update and that one was three months ago. And that's the other reason why I'm calling this a massive update because we haven't seen an update since February. The last released update was 5.1, which gave you all of this really cool stuff. And that one was released in February. Here we are three months later with this update. Now it's not giving us really specifically what has changed, but normally when it comes down to an update, they're usually around 200, 300, 400 megabyte. I believe maybe because there are several months in between here, maybe that's why somehow it kind of built up or there is newer versions of softwares and, and applications and we'll take a look at that. Now, the last time we got updates before that was back in December and then November. So look at this, we have November, we have December, and then we had February. So they were doing a really good job with these updates and here it is, a three month pass with nothing. So I did write down several different versions of Samsung Home and messages and a few other things. So we'll take a look at those, uh, but let's just go through. Let's get this one installed. Let's see if there's any changes. We're also gonna take a look at the Galaxy Store to see if there's any newer versions of some of the Samsung applications as well. So we're just gonna try to look around, try to see what is new since Samsung isn't really telling us, but hopefully you guys appreciate this video. And if you guys are appreciating this video, you guys love this content. If your brand's new here at the channel, Jimmy is Pro, Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button as well as the bell for notifications to get notified for all future videos. So now that the update is done and complete, let's take a look at some versions of some services and applications. So we'll first just take a look at Samsung Home just because sometimes some people may run into a few issues with maybe some animation problems or switching different things or application problems from the home screen. So before this update, it was 14.1.0.3.21. This is now 14.10347. So it looks like a newer version for Samsung Home. Again, if you ever had any issues, hopefully it's now fixed. Let's take a look inside of camera. Now for this version over here before the update, we were sitting at 13.10047. This one is at 13.10081. So it looks like a newer version for the Samsung camera as well. So maybe some fixes with autofocus or something like that. Let me just take a look really fast and gander just to see if there's any little orange dots letting us know that there is something new. So we're gonna head over also inside of more. Sometimes if there is something new or something updated or a brand new feature, you'll see a little orange dot next to one of these, just letting you know that there is something new. So I don't see anything crazy here, uh, but again, it could just be, you know, maybe shutter speed or it could also be, um, uh, the uh, fix with autofocus. So now we're going to talk about the gallery. So Samsung gallery before this update, we were sitting at 141052. This one is now 141052. So nothing changed with the gallery itself. We're also going to take a look at Samsung files. So Samsung files is going to be right over here. So with this one, this version before the update was 1410316. 1410316, so nothing new with my files. And then now with Samsung Messages, which I use Google Messages, uh, but I do wanna take a look at this one for you guys. So with this one here, before the update was 1413019, 1413033. So looks like a newer version for Samsung Messages. So a little bit better, you know, in terms of any vulnerabilities or any fixes, any stability problems. So it looks like Samsung Messages is fixed there. Now I always have to also take a look inside of the Galaxy Store. And that is because sometimes newer versions of Samsung apps actually pop up after updates. So I took a look at this one before the update, there was about four or five that was sitting there. Now taking a look at this one here, um, there was a few additionals that was sitting inside of here. And now those ones were actually updated with this little update here. It went through automatically. So now what we have left is just gonna be Note Shelf as well as Samsung Clock. 
So yeah, I think before the update, there's five or six of them. I can't remember exactly which ones they were. I think one of them was Samsung Internet. So there is also a newer version of Samsung Internet as well that came along with this update. This update kind of went through some of those itself. Now taking a look at what Samsung and Google has done in terms of some of the vulnerability fixes. So we're going to click on Samsung right here for May 2023. It looks as if we have one, two, three, four vulnerabilities fixed that were critical uh, inside of high. This is probably right around 50 in terms of high vulnerabilities. Moderate looks like one, two, three. And then a couple of them were already included in the previous update. And then one of them that's really just not applicable because this is from Google right here, not from Samsung. So this one is just you know stating it's not for a Samsung device. And then down here, these are all of the Samsung ones that were kind of fixed and, and taken a look at. Uh, looks like this one had an improper access control vulnerability in Theme Manager. So this one was stated and reported in January and fixed now, which was a pretty long time for that one. Usually they go a little bit quicker, but it looks as if I'm not gonna really go through the rest of these. I just wanted to see how many of these were critical and moderate and high and all that good stuff from Google as well as Samsung. So that's pretty much all we need to know about that one right there. So that was it for today's video. We found quite a few newer versions of a bunch of these different applications. Uh, some of them didn't really update, but this one was a big update that was just needed. It was over 1500 megabytes. I think it was like 1600 megabytes, which again, normally is around 300 or 400 each month. And then also too, we haven't seen this update for about three months. So we definitely needed something, especially from February, which was our last update, which gave us Samsung One UI 5.1. But hopefully you guys appreciated this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Subscribe on the very bottom left-hand side. And if you like this video, the more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.